And you've got to understand what they mean by thicker. They made the active region 23 micrometers thick. For perspective, that is less than half the width of a single human hair. The level of precision we are talking about here is just, it's mind-boggling. So, did the thicker engine actually work better? Well, the first results showed that the answer wasn't a simple yes or no. It was actually a trade-off. And you can see that trade-off right here. The thicker 23 micrometer lasers, they were way better at producing these short, really high power bursts of light. But the thinner lasers, the ones around 10 to 12 micrometers, they were the champs at producing a stable, continuous beam. Turns out the thicker design was better at trapping the light for a powerful punch, while the thinner one was better at getting rid of heat, which can kill performance. So the first big takeaway is that the best laser really just depends on the job you needed to do. But, and this is where the story gets really interesting, this finding wasn't even the most surprising thing the researchers found, not by a long shot. This is where the real mystery started. 